Hello, and welcome to our third lesson online. We're going to keep the format pretty much the same. You should know it by now. We're going to start off with our warm up, then we'll do a rudiment, and then some music notation. So today we're going to stick with our uh, number warm up, doing eight on the hand, and then seven going down to one, and then back up to eight. So once again, it's just a review. We'll have eight on this hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on your left hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then after that, you go right to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven on the left hand. Three, four, five. And then you go to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. See how it happens. And we go down always to one and back up to eight. So let's do that. One, two, eight, one. Two eight strokes, right hand and ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Up. Two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
we go. So there's the warm up with accents on even numbers. So you'll always have tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, accent. Now the way I achieve that is starting off nice and low on the tap. So tap, mostly the wrist, tap, and then for the accent, I pull the wrist up, fingers stay on the stick, accent. So you have tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, up, accent, tap, up, accent, tap, up, accent. Same for the left side. Uh, tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, up, accent, tap, up, accent, tap, up, accent. All right, so make sure those fundamentals get worked on. You don't have to do the exercise too fast. It gets kind of tricky when you get down to the lower numbers. So take it pretty slow at first, and then you'll be able to get it to a faster tempo. And next week, we will work on accent taps by accenting all the odd numbers. So take that exercise outside of this video and work it out. Get those hands moving. Make sure the taps are nice and low and the accents are nice and high so you have a nice separation. And then you can work on maybe right now all my accents are full legato accents. Tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, accent. You can make that even shorter. Do half leg. Tap, accent, tap. Maybe a little bit shorter. Just to also explore all of your tap dynamics. So you can have some loud, I mean, all of your accent dynamics. So you can have loud accents. You can have soft accents. Even softer. So the taps are basically staying the same. It's really that accent and stroke that's changing the in um, dynamics. So try that out, work the exercise, um, have fun with it. So now I'm going to pull up, share the screen. This is an exercise, a double check pattern exercise written by a very well known um, marching percussionist by the name of, right over there, Tom Hannum. He actually has a pair of marching sticks named after him. So I have the video. Um, I currently do not. But he has a famous marching stick named after him. Um, it's just a nice big marching stick. But Tom Hannum, pretty well known. Look up some videos on him. He has some nice stuff. Now, in this exercise, last week we learned basically Line two, three, and four. Although we are using a different PDF, we learned those rhythms. So line two, one, and a, where we take out, remember, the second partial of the um, full sixteenths. So one, e, and a, we took out that second, and now we have one, and a. And then same, going down, we reviewed and learned the rhythm in line three, where they take out the third partial. So instead of one E and the, uh, you have one E, uh, one E, uh. And then line four, they took out the fourth partial. So instead of one E and the, uh, you just get one E and, one E and. All right, so, and then up top, um, line zero, the check pattern line, um, I'll tell you what we can do with that in a little bit, but for right now, let's just go through each one of the lines, um, starting with line two, then going to line three, and then going to line four, and then stopping. So we're basically just reviewing the rhythms that we learned last week. Let me get my metronome. Here we go, that's a good time. And ready, set, and go. One, and two, and 
very nice. Now, let's go down to line number three. So now we have one E, a two, and one E, a two, and. Ready, set, here we go. One E, a two, and. 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 Again, line three, set, and ready, go. video and now let's do this let's move on and look at lines five six and seven so let's talk about a few things first with our eighth note rest and eighth note is equal to two sixteenth notes so if we have an eighth note rest placed at the beginning um, well, at the end of a full 16th note from before, one E and the, when we put that eighth note rest right at the end, we'll cancel out those two 16ths. If we put the eighth note rest at the beginning, we'll cancel out the first two. So instead of one E and the, we'll get rest, rest, and the, or rest, and the, since it's just an eighth note rest. Then, our last one, we put an eighth note rest right there in the middle. Instead of one E and the, we'll get one. A one E and a E and da bum. See that? So, an eighth note is equal to 
two sixteenth notes. So if you see an eighth note rest with a grouping of sixteenth notes, you know that we have to take away two sixteenth notes. So let's travel back to our PDF. And let's look at line number five. Line five. So line five, they put the eighth note on the back half. So instead of one E and the, we just get one E. One E. Uh, so those last two are taken out. So line five will be what sound just like this. One E and the two E ready go. One. You can all hear that metronome ticking. So we'll have one and two and three and four and one E, two and three E, bum, bum, one E, two and one E. So line five, let's play it. One E and the two E and the line five, ready, go. One E. To that metronome, which you should be, so metronome's your friend. On the rest, we'll hear that one clip. Yeah, one E, two, and one E, and because that's that eighth note rest. Let's do line five again. One and the two E and the ready set, and here we go. One E clip, two. Sorry. 
Let's do that again. I messed up on that check pattern. All right, here we go, one more time. Check pattern, then line five, check pattern, line six. And one E and a two E and a ready, set, and here we go. this week and practicing is to play the check pattern, line two, play the check pattern, line three, check pattern four, check pattern five, check pattern six. So I basically want you to review with lines two, three, four, and then work our two new rhythms, lines five and six. Always going back and forth between the check pattern using a metronome always as well. Now, the key to this exercise is that you understand all of the spacing, okay? So, you don't crush up any of your notes on the one E's, it's not one E and one E and one E and one E and. Make sure you have all that space and you understand all of the patterns. So, that's our notation. And if you remember, last week our rudiment was our flams. We learned our right flam, our left flam, and how to play alternating flams. Now, today's rudiment is a flam accent. The flam accent um, works in compound meter. So compound meter is grouping of threes. So we'll have one, two, three, one, two, three. Or you can say, one trip lit, one trip lit. But for right now, let's keep just one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? Now, before I show you the rudiment and what it looks like, I'm going to sort of explain it for you, just so we get a gist of it in our head before we look at the music and it confuse us. So, I said we have two groupings of three. Let's start off with our right hand and play two groupings of three. Just like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ending on your left hand. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Do that again. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, let's put an accent on every one. So we'll have one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, and that accent alternates to our compound meter. So once again, we'll get one, two, three, one, two, three. Do that together. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Again, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. One more time, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, with this rudiment, I said it's a flam accent. So, the flam is going to come on beats one, right where we have that accent. So now, let's do this. Let's have flam, two, three, flam, two, three, one, two, three, with me, go. Flam, two, three, flam, two, three. Let's put that down a little bit. Flam, two, three, flam, set, go. Flam, two, three, flam, two, three. Again, and go. Flam, two, Flam, two, three. Now, let's fill back 
in beats two and three. So we'll have this. Wham, two, three. Wham, two, three. Ready? Can you flam position? One, two, three. Ready, set, go. Flam, two, three. Flam, two, three. Nice. One more time. Ready, set, go. Flam, two, three. Flam, two, three. Now, let me share the page with you, and I'll show you exactly what this rudiment looks like. So we are right here, flam accents. Rudiment number 21. So we see exactly what I was telling you. Two groupings of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. With the accent on one and the flam on each one. So let's play exactly what you see. And let's play it twice. In a row. So we'll have flam left, right, flam right, left, flam left, right, flam right, left. With me? One, two, three, ready, set, go. Flam left, right, flam right, left, flam left, right, flam right, left. One, two, three, again, set, go. Flam left, right. Two, three, one more time, go. Flam, left, right, flam, right, left, flam, left, right, flam, right, left. All right, so just remember the only accented note in this is going to be the first grouping of the threes. So beat ones. One, two, three, accent, two, three, accent, tap, tap, accent, tap, tap, accent, tap, tap, accent, tap. So there we have our flam accent. Um, I suggest you also work this with a metronome, or you can go to thickfirth.com under the educational tab, hit the 40 um, essential rudiments uh, icon, and then scroll on down, hit number 21, and they'll have play alongs for you that you can play along with at different tempos. So there's our third lesson. We had our warm up where we incorporated those accents. So we're doing tap accents. We had our duple check pattern by Tom Hanna, who you all look up videos of. And we also ended with our flam accents. All right, so go forth, practice. I'll see you guys.